Whenever you're ready. Uh, can you uh, state your name, spell it, and tell us where you're from, please? My name is Frederick McCarthy, F R E D E R I C K M C C A R T H Y, and I'm from Jonestown, Pennsylvania. Good on levels? Yep, we're good on levels. Okay. We good again? Yeah, good. All right, so uh, Frederick, what do you think about the uh, Pirates ha having their first playoff game here in 21 years? I guess it's going to be exciting. So, uh, do you have any plans to watch the game tonight? No. No plans to watch the game? What do you think this will mean for uh, tourism? Do you think traffic's going to be a nightmare more so than usual tonight? Yes. So, you're not going to watch the game then? No, I ain't. Why not? Well, um, how about the Steelers? What do you think about their 0-4 start? I don't know. It's kind of crazy. What's up? <laughs> Well, I was about the duck. That. So, what do you think about this giant duck that floated down the Allegheny, man? It was kind of alright. It was cool. It was the first time I've ever seen a giant duck like that. 40 feet tall, 30 feet wide. You got to admit that's kind of impressive. Yes, it is. So, what would you do if you had a duck that big? I don't know. <laughs> you asking the weirdest questions. All right, we're good. Thanks, man. So, so where are you from? Pittsburgh. What's your name, sir? Jamal Christmas. Jamal Christmas? Um, how do you spell that? J apostrophe M A L and Christmas like the holiday. Alright, so what do you think about the Steelers, man? We're 0 4. What do you think about the Steelers? Uh, <laughs> I'm a little pissed off right now, but it's alright. We're we going to pick it up. We're going to pick it up. So you think we're going to pick it up and do good? We're going to start winning some games? I hope so. Maybe not good. I mean, maybe not great, but I mean, I think we'll be alright by the end of this year. Uh, you hear about the government shutdown? Yeah, I did. Yeah, crazy, ain't it? Crazy, <laughs> yeah. You ain't gonna have no job in a minute, you know that? <laughs> I don't know about that. All right. Yeah. <laughs> hey. All right. So start out, just tell me your name, um, spell it, and where you're from. I'm Glenn Sandusky, G-L-E-N-S-A-N-D-U-S-K-Y. I'm from Upper St. Clair. All right, thank you very much. Um, since it's the first playoff game of 21 years for the Pirates, what do you think this means for our city? This has been great for our city. It's been a great couple of years. Even last year was okay. That's right, I agree. Now also, going along with the Pirates, a lot of spirit this week in the city. What do you think about that giant 40-foot duck just sitting and sitting down the Allegheny? I love the duck. Love it. Okay. And uh, unlike the Pirates, the Steelers haven't been doing so hot this year. They're 0-4 start. What do you think they're going to do the second half of the season to help us turn it around? I don't think they're going to turn it around. I think it's going to be a horrible season. I think it's going to be. Okay. I do. And uh, also, the government shutdown today with the fiscal year ending and the budget not being passed with the Republicans and Obamacare, everything like that. What do you think is going to happen in these next coming weeks? I hope the Republicans get some sense and understand they're holding us hostage. It's a very good point. Thank you very much, sir. Let's we'll start off by telling us your name, spelling it, and where you're from. My name is Rick Lawyer, L-A-W-Y-E-R, from Hershey, Pennsylvania. All right. All right, since the Pirates, this is their first playoff game in 21 years, what do you think this means for our city? Oh, it's great for the Pirate Nation. It really is. It's good to see a new blood in town. It's very true. And also, the excitement's been brewing. There's also a 40-foot duck sitting in the Allegheny River. What, have you seen that yet? Not yet, but I will. All right. And uh, the Steelers, not as good as the Pirates, are off to an 0-4 start. Do you think they can turn it around? And if so, what do you think that means for the rest of their season? It's going to be a long road for them for the season, but I think they, with the team they have, the support they have, they'll, they'll make a good run for it. I'm not sure how well they're going to do, but they're going to make a good run for it. All right, I agree with you on that one. Hopefully they can get it together. Also, the fiscal year ended and the government supposedly shut down this morning. What are your take on that and all the Republicans holding out? I'm not a big politics uh, person, so I really I just keep my opinions to myself. No, I agree with you. Thank you so much. That's Thank good. you. Good. Okay, can uh, you state your name and spell it and tell us where you're from, please? My name is Maria, M A R I A Maria. I'm from um, the north side, about two blocks from PNC Park. Oh, cool. So then you must be really excited about the pirate game tonight. Yes, sir, I am. Do you have plans to attend the game or are you going to watch it on TV? We're going to watch it on television. Hey, can't beat those seats. 
So, what do you think is going to be the uh, key factor tonight? Do you think Francisco Liriano is going to do a good job tonight? I think he's going to do a great job tonight, and I think the key factor is going to be pitching. So you think it's going to hinge on pitching? What do you think about the bullpen this year? Bullpen has been great. I don't know if they're starting to get tired, but they're getting a little... It's not been as good the last month, but they'll be okay. So along with talking about the North Shore, what do you think about the 40-foot rubber duck that's floating at the point? Oh, he's fantastic. He's huge. He's brought a lot of smiles and good wishes and people enjoying each other because of that duck. Yeah, it certainly has been something interesting to see that duck floating at the point. Do you think that's going to be something that gets mentioned on uh, national TV? Oh, I think it should uh, because it's an international toy and Pittsburgh's been the first city to get it. So I think it should be on national TV. All right. Awesome. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Hi. How you doing, ma'am? What's your name? Mary Jane McCullough. Uh, where are you from? From Kennywood Park, way up at Lake Mifflin. Uh, West Mifflin? Yeah, I know. I know where that's at. Yeah. How you doing today? Everything all right today? You enjoying the weather? Yes, very much. So what do you, what do you think about the um, Pirates? And they got a big game today. What do you think? Oh, can't wait to see them. Exciting. <laughs> uh, exciting. Are you going to attend the game? We'll have to watch it on TV. Well, that might be better than paying for them expensive tickets. Um, what do you think about the Steelers? They're fan. Oh well, they're still fantastic. I still like them. Yeah, Stiller, <laughs> Stiller Nation. Yes, yes. So um, you, like you think you think this, they're going to pick up their own four right now? You think they're going to start winning some games and get it together? I hope so. I hope so. I think they will. Good, good. good. So did you 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 um you hear about the government shutdown? Is that a, that a good? It's a shame. What are you going to do? We're retired. <laughs> no. Right. Thanks. <laughs> okay, can you state your name for me, please, ma'am? Julie Moore. And can you spell that for me? M O O R E. All right, and where are you from, ma'am? Uh, Coriopolis. All right, so what do you think about the Pirates making the playoffs for the first time in 21 years? It is about time. I'll agree with that statement. So what do you look to be uh, some something to watch in tonight's game? Um, probably just how well our offense does. Um, home runs, you know, there's, there's a lot of people to watch, so there's not one in particular. All right, so what do you think about the Steelers this year? I'm hoping we don't go 0-5. Let's say that. Well, they're on bye week this week. Hopefully they can get everything sorted out. So, did you hear about the uh, the government shutdown that happened today? Yeah, I did about the health care. Is that what talking about? Um, yeah, something like that. What do you think about that? Well, I think it's about time for everybody to have health care. I'll agree with that. So, covered the health care, covered the pirates, covered everything going on. What do you think about the 40-foot rubber duck on a lighter note? He's fantastic. I think he should make for something interesting to see on national TV. What do you think? I think so, considering we're the first United States city to have him. Yeah, that truly is something historical. Wait, I'm yeah. just going to wait. So, brings tourism to the, to the city I'm not and do it the some attention uh, to Pittsburgh right, okay. that we wouldn't already have. All right, thank you for your time. Thank you. All right. Well done. Okay, now you can go. There we go. We're good now. Can I ask you your name to spell it and where you're from, please? Angela Corvello, A-N-G-E-L-A-C-O-R-V is in Victor. Oh, I'm from Monroeville. Okay. Um, okay, we'll start off <laughs> on the Pirates' the first playoff game in 21 years. What do you yes. think that means for our city? It, it's fantastic for our city. It, the, the excitement, the buzz, the people that are coming into town, the economic impact, that's fantastic for our city. We couldn't be happier. Great. And also, it's a lot more exciting, too, because there's a 40-foot duck in the Allegheny. Have you seen that? I have seen that, up close and personal. And that is uh, part of the, uh, the uh, Festival of Firsts. So that puts Pittsburgh on the map once again as being the only U.S. city that's going to have that duck. And what better place to have it than in our Three Rivers? That's right. Three Rivers is a great place in America. Everybody should see it. Also, uh, one last question. The Steelers are 0-4. Do you think they can turn it around, and what do you think they need to do to turn it around? I think they're going to have a good week this week uh, on the bye, and I really don't care because it's all about the Buckos right now. That's right. Go Buckos. Yeah. All right, good. Where, where do you get them fantastic shirts from? Go over at the uh, Benetton Center after we watched the Lion King. Oh, you want to see the Lion King? 
Was it a great um, event? Fantastic. If you ever get a chance, you got to see it. Yeah, um, what, went, what went on? Well, it was a, a Broadway show, you know. So we enjoyed it. Okay. Would you ever go see um, the Lion King again whenever they come back? I'd be there right now if they were there. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. I like your shirts. Maybe I can go get me one. There you go. Yep. Take care, man. Thanks. Okay,